Hello, fans. I'm Brad Nessler alongside my colleague, Dick Vitale. We're here to call tonight's matchup between the Louisville Cardinals and the Syracuse Orange. Number 23 is one of the players that you're going to want to pay close attention to tonight. This guy can be you in so many ways on offense. He can really stroke the J, and he also moves well without the ball. That makes him an offensive nightmare for a defender. The Orange will have to utilize his skill to the fullest potential, Dick. The Orange face a whale of an opponent tonight, Dick. How do they pull this one out? The keys to the game are simple, Brad. First of all, the point guard has to take control of the game, and he has to dictate the tempo and the pace. Second of all, don't give up any easy uncontested shots from behind the arc. Find those shooters. And lastly, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. I couldn't agree more with you, partner. Let's get down to the court and join the action. whole team that's on the floor is quick but so is the defense and they do a nice job ball comes back out from the post I tell you Brad you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man trying to feed the low block a lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside he attempts the trifecta goes in Gave it up. Arnold receives the pass. High post screen. Off the rim and no good. The group handles the feed. They work it around the perimeter. And there's a lazy pass. It's stolen away. Turnover. Will it turn into two the other way? The student body appears to be pumped up, and they are ready to explode. They look like they're having a blast. For two. I love this guy hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Dickie's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Goes up for two. Arnold was a top recruit coming out of high school. Personally, I can't wait to see how he's going to develop. I'm happy that he's played out his eligibility rather than jumping to the pros. That's what you want from your top star recruits. He fires from long range. Way off target. And he scores despite the hack. On the dribble, gives it up. On the inside. That spin move's not going to work against a defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Hit the replay button on that one. Trying to feed inside. He shoots from long range. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss, Dick. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Trying to go inside. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a choice. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They look to get it to the inside. With the fake. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. They push it up on the break. He buries the shot. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Gave it up. Gets the feed down low. Now the turnaround jumper. They still don't score. He goes for three. He drains the bucket. Replay is queued up. Let's watch it again. The shooting guard receives the ball. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. The ball goes out of play. <laughs> 
Smith is feeling great out there right now. Yeah, no kidding, partner. When you have some success, you start to gain some confidence. Ten seconds remaining on the shot clock. Circle off the rim and look. Ooh, look at the shot block. We got some contact. Nice hops. Great play to take that to the basket. Nice to have you along with us tonight. Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews alongside. I'm Brad Nessler. We got a good one going. Let's it fly. Way off target. He puts it in with contact and all. Now they work it around the perimeter. Darling draws the personal. You talk about a packed house. Look at this crowd. I tell you, coach's dream, baby. This gives you that edge. He'll go to the line. Hits the first shot. Got them both. Oh, he drained it. Nothing but nylon. NBN. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Dumps it in. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Both teams looking to get things going here. Stolen away. DeGroote handles the pass. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. From way outside. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Leaning in, trying to draw contact. Louisville are on a bit of a run. Let's see how long they can keep it on, Brad. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. Got the high pick, the kick out. Smith fakes the shot, works the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 7. Blocks it. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Sets the screen for his teammate. He's money with the shot. That's a 7-0 run. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. That was like a NASCAR wreck and no whistle. Wow, no call. You like that NASCAR? Hey, where's Mr. Petty? I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Up fake. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. <laughs> That's just great hustle and great defense of the steal. I tell you what, they telegraphed that pass and he read it perfectly defensively as a post player. Makes a jumper. 
This young man means so much to this team, and the fans just love him. Yeah, they really know how to show their appreciation for him. They work the perimeter, and the ball goes out of bounds. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Brad and Dick, there is a sense of concern on the bench right now. The coaching staff fears if the other players don't get involved soon, it may be too late. He keeps stressing to his team, I can't do this by myself, so help me out. We'll have to continue to monitor this one, guys, along the way. All right, thanks, Aaron. Kicks it out on the outside. He got the steal. The pressure got to the ball handler. Awesome ball pressure. It was too much for him, and he lost possession. Top of the circle, they work it around the perimeter. For the bucket. What do you think, Dick? They need a timeout here, Brad. Dick, a great battle down in the low post, but I think the offense is gaining ground here. Yeah, he's getting great inside position, has the great angle. He's got him set up perfectly for a basket. They got the 45-degree angle, which scores it, and he's fouled. So, and one opportunity here. Look at this, Mr. Nestler. He has a little something for the opposition. That, to me, is a no-no. He goes to the line, shooting one. It goes in. And the ball goes out of play. Oh, the cheerleaders into it big time for their team. They are really involved. I'll tell you one thing, they bring a lot of spirit. They'll work it around the arc. And he'll kick it back outside. He shoots from downtown. Got it. For two, perfectly executed. There's a double team waiting there. And they get the turnover. It looks as though they have a shooter spotting up. They go with the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Intercepted. You really need to protect the ball around these guys. Boy, terrible execution on offense. The pressure that basketball, help one another, communicate. There's a bad pass right to the defender. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Very soft defensively. No pressure on a basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Look at that spacing. Way out on top, controlling the ball. There's a high screen. That was a great, great effort right there, trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Now they work it around the perimeter. He wants a three. Makes the shot. Let's check out this replay, Brad. <laughs> the skip pass is picked off. Trying to draw the foul. 
Great play to take that to the basket. They scored seven in a row. On the outside. Adam in the low block, but opted against it. Jumps in. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. <laughs> He's pounding the ball to the deck. Where's he going? From the baseline, they'll bring it out on top. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He got busted for three. He was watching, not playing. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't. His shot blocked from behind. He set him up nicely. They work the perimeter. Got some room. There's the trap. He nails the shot. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. They strip him in the basketball. Got a little too fancy. Too much mustard there. He fouled him. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. Problem with that, when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you've got to get help because you've got to see ball, man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. in front to take it away. Dick, I think there's a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Picked out of the air. Jumps into the defender. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover city, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. On the dribble, gives it up. Tries one from three-point land. Knocks it down. Has a nice look at the basket. He shoots from the elbow. They can't stop this guy, Dick. Want to give him a try, Brian? If only my knees weren't aching. He makes a nice shot fake. Here's a double team. The Orange have a mismatch in the post. It's definitely a mismatch. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. Defender knocked the ball loose, but the offense got it back. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. Off the rim and no good. Donaldson makes a great move to draw the foul. What a play. These kids are fired up now. And if you're going to celebrate, why not celebrate with a teammate? Hey, can you blame them, Brad? They're playing well. He goes to the free throw line. Makes his first.
Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coaches dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Gave it up. Let's see if they can get a good shot this trip. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. In the paint. Steele, go up the other way, get a layup. Turnover. Great job knocking the ball loose, then chasing it down. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Nice high post screen. He shoots from the baseline. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. On the dribble, gives it up. Great pressure, great double team. Really explosive. Perfectly executed. He goes up strong, and that's going to be an offensive foul. Oh, great call by the official. He beat him to the spot. That's essential defensively. Steals a pass. Gave it up from three-point territory. Syracuse have gotten themselves into a bit of a rhythm on offense, Dick. They're really on a nice run right here. He intercepts it. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Picked off. Moving it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Dick, they're doing a great job defensively down there in the low block. I tell you, what a great job. At a Gets a hand in the way. Way off target. Let's see if they go two for one here, Dick. Pull up jumper from way out. They're nailing three balls at will right now. They're really hurting them with the three point shooting. For the bucket, in and out. He threw it down and still one to come. He saw that opening and took it right to the rack, baby. I don't even know if he felt the foul. He goes to the line. Free throw is good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Going to move it around the perimeter. From left of the circle. Sinks it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. He gets the bucket to drop and gets the foul. He felt the pressure on the way up, but managed to keep himself focused on the rim. The Orange go to the line for the first time in this game. Sinks it. With a half-court shot. Misses on a chance for three. At the half, the Orange are behind by seven.
Well, it's been a close one so far, Dick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Well, Dick, let's see what's in store for us here in the second half. Syracuse is not hitting the boards with any kind of efficiency in the first half. I agree, partner. They're getting beat to the punch almost every time. Our focus player update, Nick Vitale, going into the second half. What does he need to do, you think? I think we ought to set some screens for him, a little double screens. He's a great shooter, but he's not getting the opportunity. I think his teammates have to screen for him. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Shooter spotting up on the three. Louisville was a longtime member, of course, of Conference USA. Made the jump to the Big East not that long ago. Hey, I don't want to say that the Big East is the better conference, but they do go into that additional intention as a Big East school. And they can't. It has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. This defender is resilient. Still applying pressure. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnover. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit side. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> the Ziggy. I love that. Obvious foul. Nick, you know, we always like uh, comparing positions and specific matchups. What are your thoughts about the backcourt matchup so far? Hey, Brad, sometimes comparisons can be misleading. If your backcourt is weaker, then you just hope to contain your opponent's guards. Keep them in check. If you have strong backcourt play, you must attack and exploit any mismatch. Looking for a good shot. Takes away the pass. Defensively, they keep limiting their chances. He shoots from the top of the key. Great shot. Picks off the lazy pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. He didn't have the good angle. They should have got it to him about a second earlier. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Got a man in high post. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. He is going to the line. First one, good. Syracuse have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Screen there. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I tell you, doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. Alley -oop. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. He shoots from right of the circle. He gets the bucket. Back it up, back it up. We'll see that one again. Picks off the pass. They're off into transition. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket.
Intercepted. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. Brady's on fire. They work the perimeter. For the bucket. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. There's a double team waiting there. Launches away. Nice shot. On the dribble, gives it up. That was a great, great effort right there. Trying to play that passing lane. Anticipated really well. Gave it up. Jumped in front to take it away. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Count that as a personal foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? Tempo of the game, really important here. You want to establish some good tempo. For the bucket, Syracuse are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover there. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. Set up looking for contact. He gets another shot off and in. Hey, this show's about to start, Brad. Goes up for two. I love this guy, Hook. He cannot block that shot. He gets that ball in deep. Hey, Brad, why don't more guys use it? Side. Got the shot if he wants it. Picked out of the air. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. Nice move with a face up. I'll tell you one thing, Brown. I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Wide open for the shot. Time to pick up the defense here now. He gets that one to fall. Steals a pass. On the dribble, gives it up. The ball goes out of play. Oh, that mascot looks like a lost puppy dog, Nick. I tell you, the mascot's so sad and reflects their play. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He takes the shot. That's good. The Orange are trailing by 10. He intercepts it. They'll work it around the arc. He squares up. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. Picked off. Mary's at home. And we've got a whistle and a foul. Oh, and you can tell by the look on his face, he wasn't expecting the whistle on him. Wow, look at the facial expression. He says, me? He 
He's got a high post flasher. He up fakes. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Gave it up. Gets the ball and now faces his man down in the low block. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. He sure does, Dick, and why not? He and his team have all the momentum. I can't wait to see what unfolds next. He's feeling good, Brad. He's feeling really good. With one attempt. That's one of the things I absolutely love about college basketball, Dick, the atmosphere. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Here's a flash from the post up high. The athleticism in some of these kids, Brad, I'll tell you, it's incredible. Controlling the ball. Tries to get the D to bite. He's got some room. He tries the three. Tickles the twine. <laughs> tries for two. And in and out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Up and inside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Here's the trap. From the top of the key. The Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. He attempts a jump hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Brad, despite his performance, he has been unable to get his teammates all on the same page. There's a lot of confusion and lack of focus down here right by the bench. He continues to stress to them, relax, play your game. He can't do this alone, Brad. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Moving it around the perimeter. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. Way out on top, controlling the ball. The post flashes up high if he wants it. Turnover City now always really negate any offense. On the dribble, gives it up. He makes the block. Now the kick out. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. Good job defensively. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. The Cardinals have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. Brad, he's on fire. The offensive guy now is gaining position down there on the low block, Dick. I tell you, he gained big time position by getting the good angle, the good arm entry, had the real extension. Doesn't go. 
Tries for two. Syracuse are on a run right here as of late, Nick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. With a jump hook, they still don't score. Trying to draw some contact. He shoots from the top of the key. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. For two, in and out. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important, get 15 to 17 feet apart. He drains the shot. Gave it up in the paint. Fakes the shot. He attempts a jump hook. The Cardinals have found a player who cannot seem to miss Dick. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Got to think right now. Got to focus defensively. Great play to take that to the basket. The Carrier Dome is going crazy. The roof's about to come off this place. For the deuce. And off the mark. Goes for the steal down low, and he didn't get it. I tell you, he took a chance, and he lost, baby. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Brad, some of the players told me before the game they felt their biggest key was to get the ball inside. They said, we have the personnel to score in the paint, and that's what makes us a big threat. Thanks, Aaron. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block. Hit. That bucket counts, and he'll go to the line. Hey, excellent job there. Join the foul and finish in the hoop. That is a great play. These kids have all the momentum now. Look at them. They're celebrating. They're definitely having some fun out there. He goes to the line for the first time. No doubt. They're shooting extremely well from the stripe tonight, Dick. Yeah, they're making their coaches look good for making them shoot extra free throws every day. There's the fake. Takes the pass in the paint. The land. Is trying to get the crowd involved now. Well, he wants the crowd to get up for this defensive possession. Goes up for two. Watch here. <laughs> On the dribble, gives it up. Tries for two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. If they can get a basket here, Dick, this crowd will erupt. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle. Was locking on the box. The Orange are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. I think a defensive stop on this possession, Dick, will have this crowd just roaring. Entry pass in the paint for two. Perfectly executed. If they can get a score, this place is going to go wild. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Nice fake. Now he faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. On the dribble, gives it up. He looks for three. 
great shot. With a little baby hook, the Cardinals have got to continue to get him the ball. Randy's on fire. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously, but they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The center takes the feed. They still don't score. Gave it up. The shooting guard gets the ball. The Orange have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. He shoots from the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. Picked off. And all the way on the baseline. Now the kick out. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. A uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. They get out on the break. For the deuce, basket falls despite the contact. Intercepted. The point guard with the ball. On the dribble, gives it up. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Goes up for two. Was that beautiful or what? Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad, this is a great opportunity for the coaches to calm their players down. I'm sure they're anxious, and they may be a little frazzled. Let's see how it all works out, guys. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. I get a feeling they've changed things up a little bit, Dick. We'll see what they come up with, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. In and out. Here's a drop step in the low block. Very key is to get good post position. If he does, and then he drops the step. Right there, right there. For two. I tell you, once you get deep position like that, it's automatic. Look at these fans. They're loving it. Listen to that roar. It's unbelievable. Here's a double team. It's stolen. What kind of energy are we looking at after that timeout, Dick? That's winning energy, baby. The team with the most energy and execution goes home with the big W. Playing for the steal in the post, and he didn't get it. I tell you, trying to make the spectacular play, and now he's embarrassed.
ready to start things up again. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. The center in the paint for the bucket. That bucket cuts the lead to one. I told you there was a lot of time, Brad. They work it around the arc. Look at that spacing. Let's it fly. It's good. to hit the floor. They go back in front by two. Gave it up. Double team now, bad angle. Our focus player update, our final one of the ball game, and he led his team to victory. I'll tell you one thing, he was sensational. He made all big shots. He really wanted the ball. I thought he was very aggressive offensively. Dick, let's check out that State Farm drive of the game. Hey, what a great move, Brad. He was able to find an opening and finish at the basket. That's a great finish. Highlight material, baby. Syracuse walks away as the victor in this very good matchup. They kept it close and ended up pulling off an upset. So for Dick Vitale and Eric Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler saying so long.